Hi there and welcome here to Seismic Radio and uh, we've got a little talk here. It's not going to take too long, but I just wanted to, to point some stuff out. It's uh, a new law in German politics, a government rejecting God. It's not quite as bad as it might look to start off with. We're going to have a look a little bit at the figures, but um, <clears throat> I find it quite shocking that, um, <clears throat> that, um, that a government is just almost half of it, not, not quite, half of the government plus the top leader is rejecting God. So what is the outcome going to be? It's going to be a good question. Uh, I'm going to go through it in a minute. Just a little bit about my background. Uh, many of you know I'm uh, German, yeah, so I've lived uh, outside of Germany for most of my life. But uh, I've still got a keen interest in German politics and understand a little bit about what is going on in Germany. But it's quite shocking what I've seen and I thought is just the signs of the times of what is going on. Now, the Bible talks about that uh, before Christ is coming back, there will be a great apostasy, a great falling away. And I think this is one of the things which we are witnessing right here in front of our eyes, that people are just rebelling against God. They are just putting up the middle finger to God. And it's not going to end very well. We, we all know this. And, uh, and it's a warning to this government as well. It's not going to end well. If you, if you go against God, if you go against the principles of God, and you don't acknowledge who he is and what he has done, you will end up in insanity. And that is uh, Romans 1. Check it out. People don't recognize God. It, it, it goes down very, very badly. Okay, uh, let's have a look. So these are the politicians. This is a new cabinet. There's been, there were elections in Germany in September in 2021, I think. And uh, there was a new constellation of power. Um, I think the majority of the votes still went to the, um, the right side of the spectrum. So the more conservative parties, they got... Um, a little bit more than 50% of the vote, all of them together. So they, there are uh, four parties in total. Uh, but one of the parties has been sort of marginalized um, and put into the extreme right-wing corner and none of the bigger parties dare to go into coalition with them. But again, it's a different story. I'm not going to go into this. I just want to see what has happened here. Because of um, the, the um, dissent amongst the conservative parties, the left-wing parties uh, were able to form a coalition with one right-wing party, and they are now making up the new government, and they've got the majority of the votes. Uh, but let's have a look at who these guys are and what they stand for. I'm a Christian. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be my Savior, my Lord. I believe in God, and I believe it's very, very important to acknowledge who He is especially if you go into the spheres of politics, of leadership, that, uh, that you know where all leadership is coming from. Ultimately, it's coming from God. Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, right, I'm trying to... <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. It should work. Okay, now these are the... Uh, and I'm talking about the Federal Republic of Germany. And later in 1990, Germany was joined together with East Germany. So we've got a bit of a different constellation there. But these were all the old politicians. So I don't know whether you can see the mouse. I hope you can. So the first one is Adenauer. Then we've got Erhard. Then we've got Kiesinger. So all these, as far as I remember, they were all conservatives. So they were the Christian Democratic Union. Um, and they probably were Christians. I know some of the guys were very... Um, pious, yeah, and they had a reference to God in their lives. Then we've got two guys from the uh, the Social Democrats. is Willy Brandt, so I'm not quite sure where, where he stands. Then I've got Helmut, we've got Helmut Schmidt, again, a politician I respect very much. I think um, he, he was a great chancellor, <laughs> just in the wrong party. Then we've got Helmut Kohl, and then we've got uh, Schröder and Merkel. Okay. Now, of these, these are all the politicians, all the chancellors, so the leaders of um, the West German Republic and later um, uh, all of Germany. So that was Kohl, Schröder and Merkel. So those three uh, did rule over a united Germany. Schröder was one who, when he took office, um, didn't take the oath, so help me God. Yeah. So he was an atheist, obviously. He rejected God. Uh, he was in power, I think, for two periods, two legislative periods. 
and the country pretty much went downhill under his rule. And then later he was voted out, and Merkel came in. Uh, things went a bit better, but I think uh, she has been in power for too long. She was in power for 16 years, just left the last couple of days. And uh, again, my opinion is um, that I think sometimes politicians, the Americans do it right. After after two periods, the chancellor should just go and somebody else should take over the business of government. <clears throat> and I think uh, in the last four years, she caused more damage than the good she did in the previous eight years before that. Okay, let's move on to... Um, the Amtszeit. Okay, this is what it is in German. I'm not going to spend on it here too, too long. I'm just going to read it out. So, war mir Gott helfe, laut Artikel 64 des Grundgesetzes müssen Kanzler und Minister bei der Amtsübernahme vor dem Bundestag den Amtszeit leisten. Artikel 56, der die Verteidigung durch den Bundespräsidenten vorsieht, die Vereidigung, nicht Verteidigung, Vereidigung, durch den Bundespräsidenten vorsieht, legt den Wortlaut fest. And that's what they have to say in German. And I'm going to tell you in a minute what it is in English. So, this is in the Constitution of Germany. That's what they need to do. And it's uh, before they take the uh, the oath, this is what they have to say. I just tell it to you in German and then we're going to look at it in English. Ich schwöre, dass ich meine Kraft dem Wohle des deutschen Volkes widmen, seinen Nutzen mehren, Schaden von ihm wenden, das Grundgesetz und die Gesetze des Bundes wahren und verteidigen, meine Pflichten gewissenhaft erfüllen und Gerechtigkeit gegen jedermann üben werde. So wahr mir Gott helfe. Okay, so this is in the Constitution. Here it is in English. Okay, so help me God, according to the Article 64 of the Basic Law, Chancellors and so Grundgesetz is the Constitution, Basic Law. The Constitution's Chancellors and Ministers must take the oath of office before the Bundestag when they take office. Okay. Article 56, which provides for the swearing in by the federal president, lays down the wording. So Article 56 states, and this is the text they have to say, I swear that I will devote my energies to the well-being of the German people, increase their benefits, prevent damage from them, uphold and defend uh, the basic law, constitution, and the laws of the Federation, conscientiously fulfill my duties and do justice to everyone. So help me God. Okay, so this is what the constitution says. Yeah? That's what's been written into the constitution. Right, and uh, a lot of people, uh, I don't know whether I can highlight this, you see the mouse maybe, they struggle with this term here, so help me God. Yeah. And um, and again, my, my point is, so atheists, because it's part of the Constitution, they should really stick to it. They could just say it and it hasn't got any me meaning to them. Or they can just reject God and insist on leaving this out. And um, to me, I mean, this is like putting up the middle finger to God. Maybe you don't care about God. Maybe you have got no relationship to God. Maybe you don't acknowledge God, but it's in the Constitution. Yeah? And so really, you should be saying this, even if it's just for the respect of the Constitution. But some people deliberately take it out. And uh, it's interesting. So again, I'm just going to go back. So when you look at all these chancellors in, in Germany, even Willy Brandt, who was kind of extreme left-wing chancellor. Uh, I haven't got much time for him. Uh, Schmidt, again, both of them, they were the Social Democrats. Schmidt, I've got a lot of time. I respect the guy. I think he was an excellent politician. But even those two guys uh, who were from the Social Democrats, you know, with Marxist roots and all that. Um, I mean, Schmidt was a very pragmatic politician. Um, but, but they apparently have used the uh, phrase, so help me God. This guy, Schröder, he uh, was the first one who rejected the, um, the oath, so help me God. And, and obviously his government wasn't very good. The, the nation pretty much went downhill during his time. Okay, so now we've got like a, a new era. We are uh, from, from Schröder near enough, um, 20 years down the line, and um, almost, not quite. Um, and um, let's see what, what happens. Yeah. So we have got the new guy. This guy is called Olaf Scholz. This is the, uh, the president of the, the Bundestag of Parliament. Um, forgotten her name, but uh, she was in, in the president in Germany. has got very little. Or the president of the Bundestag of Parliament is, is just ceremonial. So he or she has got no power. Yeah. They're just there 
to uh, overlook everything and to you know call for order and stuff like that. So this guy is Olaf Scholz, same as his predecessor Schröder. He's from the uh, Social Democrats. He rejected God. He said he didn't use the phrase "So help me God" in his oath. He rejected to say this. So in other words, the guy's an atheist. He doesn't want to know about God. And again, from my perspective, this is in the Constitution. So if you've got any respect for the Constitution, you should follow the Constitution and use the whole oath. Yeah. If you don't use the whole oath, then um, you know, for you pretty much are not respecting the Constitution. And to me, it's just like a, a deliberate act to go against God. And, and my friends, I'm telling you, if you go against God, there's not a good ending to it. And I'm sure <clears throat> Germany is going down the pipeline with uh, um, a government that to almost 50% is rejecting God. It's never been before like that. And uh, I'm going to show you in a minute uh, what else is going on. So when you look at the Constitution, so you see here that the Chancellor and the ministers, yeah, the cabinet, the people who run the government, they both need to take this oath. So the Chancellor was this guy, Olaf Scholz. He has not taken the oath with the phrase, so help me God, but he left the phrase out. Okay, let's have a look at the other guys. So these are all the ministers, quite a lot of ministers, a lot more than before. Um, and if you look at the names here, they all go in descending order, yeah, all the names. Okay, let's have a look through all the names and through all the people that are here, and you can see what they have done. So the first of all, we've got Dr. Robert Habeck. He's from the Green Party, and he's a minister for climate protection, and uh, he is rejected so help me God. This is the guy. Yeah. The godless guy. No God. Christian Lindner, he's from the Liberal Party, the uh, FDP, so Free Democratic Party, I think. Uh, he's the Minister of Finance. And that, that's this guy here. And he followed the Constitution and he said, so help me God. Nancy Faeser, she's from the SPD. So they are the Social Democrats. Uh, she's for the Interior uh, Ministry. And she said, that's her. She said, so help me God. Annalena Baerbock from the Green Party, so they are the second biggest party. SPD was the biggest party in the coalition, the Green Party, the second, FDP, um, the, the third party. So again, this woman here, no God. She left the phrase, so help me God out. Dr. Marco Bushman, uh, FDP, so he's a minister for justice, and that's this guy here, so he said, so help me God. Hubertus Heil, SPD. Uh, work and social, Ministry for Work and Social Stuff, uh, that's this guy here, and he said, so help me God. Christiane Lamprecht from the SPD, so she's the Minister of Defense, and she said, so help me God. So that's that lady over here. Now this guy, um, he's got Sam Özdemir, he's from the Green Party, Minister for Agriculture. He doesn't want to know about God, so he left, so help me God out. Anne Spiegel, Green Party, Ministry for Family, um, that's that lady here. Again, she left the phrase out, so help me God. Professor Karl Lauterbach from the SPD, he's the Minister of Health. And that's this guy here. He said, so help me God. Volker Wissing, FTP, Digital and Traffic. Again, that, that person over here, he said, so help me God. Steffi Lemke from the Green Party, Nuclear Safety and Consumer Protection. That's the lady here. She doesn't want to know about God. Bettina Stark-Watzinger from the FDP. She's a minister for education and research. Um, that's this lady here. And she said, so help me God. So the lady in the, I hope you can see the mouse, the lady in the blue um, coat here. Uh, yeah, whatever, yeah. Uh, Svenja Schulz, SPD, uh, for um, minister for the economy. That's that lady here. So she doesn't want to know about God. So she didn't put this into her oath of office. Clara Geivitz, uh, SPD, for Housing and Construction City Planning. Uh, so that's her here. And she um, uh, put her oath with the phrase, so help me God. Then we've got Wolfgang Schmidt, Green, Task, Green Party, Special Tasks. Not sure what this ministry is all about, but anyway, they got a ministry for him. And he left the phrase, so help me God out. It's quite shocking. So there's about half and half of uh, the ministers of the government in Germany 
Uh, one half, they at least left the phrase in, so they've got at least a little bit of respect for God. I don't know, obviously, what their spiritual life is, whether they are professing Christians or not. But uh, half of them are pretty much professing atheists because number one is you've got disregard for the constitution of Germany, and then the other one is just a blatant disregard for God. They just don't want to know about God, and they want to do their job running the country without God. And that's what they've done publicly. They publicly denied God. Okay, previous cabinet. So this was the cabinet before. Most of them were from the uh, right-wing party, so that's a Christian Democratic Union. Uh, there were also a lot of uh, people from the SPD. Only three, um, I think four of them were from the SPD, the others from the CDU. Three of the SPD guys, they um, said, so help me, um, um, sorry, they um, were sworn in without God, three of the SPD guys. One person from the SPD um, said, so help me God. All the others from the um, the CDU, um, they they obviously had the phrase "So help me God" without exception. So it did happen before, but we didn't. We never had this constellation where we've got a lot of people just rejecting and denying God. So this is a summary of the 2021 cabinet. So these are the guys who are running Germany now, and we've got this. We've got the SPD, and there's one person now God. Five of them, they still had some respect for God, and they said, so help me God. The Green Party, that's quite interesting. So they're all for the eco the ecology and maintaining nature and, um, you know, being really good and nice and um, and all sorts of other stuff. None of them has got any regard for God. It's interesting when you look at this. Uh, some of the policies which come from the Green Party, the first one, what they want to do is legalize cannabis, and they've push this through through the coalition treaty um, but it's just madness you know you've got a bunch of politicians who don't even number one is they've got disregard for the constitution number two is they've got blatant disregard for God um, next one is the FDP the liberal party and all four of them from the liberal party um, they used the phrase so help me God the chancellor so he's a top guy Olaf Scholz from the SPD, he denied God. And uh, when you add them all up, in total, we have got eight people you know, in the government who denied God, nine people who said, so help me God. Now, how many of these nine people meant it seriously and seriously have got a respect for God and how many just said it because it's tradition or it's part of the ceremony? It's a different question. I don't know. I don't know these guys at all. So um, I haven't followed politics that, that closely, so I've got no idea. But all I want to say is it's, it's just um, um, a reflection of the state of the republic in Germany, um, how great the apostasy has been. From three people in the last cabinet, now we've got about eight people uh, who have rejected God. Okay, what's the conclusion? The Green Party, uh, this is all we can say, is just <clears throat> godless. <clears throat> it's a godless party. If you are a Christian, you know, based on what you've seen in, in Parliament in Germany today, you cannot vote for the Green Party. They are a godless bunch of people. If you, if you profess Christ and you want to follow God, you cannot vote for people who are, uh, who are open, in open rebellion against God. Okay, we've got the uh, FDP, which is quite interesting and a little bit surprising as well. Uh, So-called liberals, uh, they acknowledge God to 100%, at least for those who are in the government. Uh, when you look at the SPD, the Social Democrats, you've got two versus five. Um, two out of five are godless. The government is split in almost 50-50. Okay, what is the conclusion for this? Um, I mean, number one is, I'm just mentioning this because it's important to know you know, what politicians are getting up to, where they stand, and also where they stand with God. Um, one big conclusion is is um, pray for Germany. And uh, I think Germany needs a lot of prayer. Uh, I'm not sure what this government is going to do, but uh, one thing we know is that as we um, repent on behalf of our nations, that um, that God will put up walls and um, will protect the nation. So, I mean, for us Christians, especially if you've got a link to Germany, maybe you are German you're, or you're living in Germany, 
it is time to pray. It's pray for the nation because um, uh, the way it looks is that dark times are descending on Germany. Uh, based on a godless, de facto godless government we have got uh, at our hands. So that's it. I just wanted to, to bring this forward and it may be something similar going on in your country as well. Um, it is just interesting to see that some people are blatantly denying God and are rejecting God from their lives, from their politics, from the way they approach life. And these people are in charge and rule over us. I mean, it's not happened, it's not the first time that it's happened. When we look at the Roman Empire, that was pretty pretty dark as well. And maybe we are sh sort of shifting back or moving back into those dark times. Okay, thank you for, for watching this. Um, we know, you know, the days are short, the days are dark, and they are getting darker every year. So it's time to pray and it's time to, to ask God to bring revival. And maybe, you know, maybe if you pray for these politicians, and I will pray for them tonight as well, and I make this a point, maybe some of those politicians get woken up and God will call them and talk to them. And maybe some of them will turn from their evil ways and from their wicked ways and return to the God who has uh, created them who has created all of us and who has created that they've been in charge, placed in charge of. Okay, God bless and bye-bye. From Michael here at Seismic Radio.